And liquid in liquid. Last part is partially miscible liquids. That I will teach in next class. But these two are related. So I am teaching in the same class. Instead of starting the point, as I start, I'm going to start like the, in the textbook, their definition, etc. Et we take up a problem and we try to see how to see, solve this problem. In solving the problem, we try to see what are the equations we are going to use to solve this problem. Okay. Let's say you have oxygen or anesthetic gas. In Corona you saw that. What is the blood oxygen level should be more than percentage? Should be more than 90 or 95. Okay, that is the normal. For that, oxygen has to be dissolved in blood. And for that, I should study the gas in liquid. What? That is normal, sir. But this is pharmacy. You tell me where I am studying this in pharmacy. Anesthetic gas. If you are doing general local anesthesia, no problem. Take one injection to here. This whole thing will be numb. Can cut, no problem. But for major operations, you need to go for general anesthesia. For that, they will keep either they will do uh, here, what is that? Uh, final part, especially when they are doing C section. Okay, C section they will do here. Okay, that is very healthy. Or they will do uh, what is that? Mass, where they will put the gas. So, the amount of gas dissolving in your bread should be matched to match the dose. <coughs> to match why it is like this? So to match the dose you should know how much amount of gas is dissolved. Okay, to get the dose which is equal to giving anesthetic, general anesthetic effect, you need to know how much anesthetic is dissolved. So in either case I should know how much gas is dissolving? I should know what is the concentration of gas dissolved. So people fought like anything, one person came forward. What he found is, you name them, okay? What he found is, to get more concentration in gas, I should increase partial pressure. To get more concentration of gas in blood, I should increase the pressure of that gas or it should increase the partial pressure or take a beaker I want to more gas to be soluble in water in that case I need to increase the partial pressure of that gas so the proportionality constant is this remove the constant the fixed of constant they call it as solubility constant of gas the zero name is Henry this is your Henry law what is this is I didn't tell you that it is Henry's law right now. So, Henry's law says that to increase the concentration of dissolved gas in liquid, increase its partial pressure. Okay, increase its partial Why are there partial pressure? There are many gas oxygen, carbon dioxide, etc. etc. You want oxygen to soluble, increase oxygen partial pressure. You want carbon dioxide soluble, increase carbon dioxide partial pressure. Then they found that okay, this is the law they created, but what are the actual factors affecting to this law? This is called as not constant, it is called as coefficient, solubility, gas solubility coefficient because one increased temperature, solubility of gas. D R I decrease and increase. 
temperature increases in soda bottle, gas will stay there and will come out. Yeah. Decreases. Open the cap. No pressure. Open the cap, increase the temperature. What happens? More and more dissolved carbon dioxide will come out. Okay, it will come out. So that is your thing. So they observe that, okay, it increases by temperature. Okay, increase by temperature. Hey, Madam, get this <laughs> back here. Solubility of gas. That is good no short form. Okay. Factors affecting solubility of gas. First one, temperature. If we increase temperature, solubility of gas will decrease. Second, pressure. What happens to pressure? What is English as saying? Increased pressure, solubility also increases. Three. Take soda, add salt. Gas is coming out. What we call this phenomena? Name it. Effervescence means creation of the uh, gas from the reaction. You use citric acid and the sodium split something, you add it, then it will create the gas. Why carbon dioxide is coming out when you add NaCl to it? When you add NaCl to it, why the carbon dioxide is coming out? Further, you should know this. Okay. Carbon dioxide is soluble in water by increasing the pressure. How do you feel that carbon dioxide in water? You increase the pressure, you feel the carbon dioxide. So, carbon dioxide is soluble in water. Means, water molecules are holding carbon dioxide like this. Means, they are having some bond. The naughty thing here is, when you add NaCl, water will become wave of <laughs> It will leave carbon dioxide. Wave of means cheating. It will leave carbon dioxide and it will go and form association with NaCl. Means NaCl has more affinity towards water or water has more affinity towards NaCl than carbon dioxide. That is the reason when you add salt to soda, all carbon dioxide is coming out. We call it as salt is coming in, carbon dioxide is going out, as the nomenclature is salting out effect. That is that. You have already salting out? No. Salting out This is the salting out. That is not the nomenclature. Okay. Salting out effect. The phenomena of replacing carbon dioxide from water by addition of salt is called salting out. By the name salting out, salt came in and something is going out. So salt in, in not in, salting out effect. This is in and out effect. <laughs> Okay, 
Por que más? Dejado. Tienes que ir a un nuevo lugar en la vida. Y me he dicho que sí. Adelante, me he dicho que sí. Tengo que estar feliz, feliz, feliz. Adelante, me he dicho que sí. No hay técnica. We don't make how to make the hearts to drink water. Okay? That's the final. Giving hearts in. No. Okay, sir. No, I think I'm going to take the reason. Okay, come on. Listen. You should mention which final. I think I'm going to take the reason. That pyramid is good of them. The phenomena of replacing dissolved gas by salt is called salting out effect. You can create by yourself. There is no rocket test in one. You can create by yourself. Okay. It's called salting out effect. So addition of other substance like salt. If you add salt or present some other substance, let's take bread. In bread, there are so many substances. So, to dissolve anesthetic gas in the bread, you need to take account of the dissolved constants in the bread also. Albumin, globulin, water molecules we have in the bread. That all should be considered. Make an experiment outside. See how much is dissolving. Accordingly, you adjust the pressure of the mass and make that pressure to breathe. So, how much I have to send? See, dose is given in what? What is the units per dose? Mg. Per? Ml. You studied dose. Hima Venom. I'm Gala Zwick. I'm Gala Zwick. Mg per? Mg per? Mg per kg body weight or Mg per age? That is it. You did not calculate it for dose. You calculate dose per body weight? I don't want all this. Okay. Just the thing is, ask the weight, how much weight, then adjust the dose. Ask what is the age and adjust. You can do it both ways. But the proper way following in right now hospitals is weight. Weight is a major factor which will affect your dose. Why I am saying this? To adjust the anesthetic gas dose, you should know dissolved constants in blood. Then you should know how much gas is absorbing in the blood. Accordingly, you need to adjust the dose by his weight. Correct, taking consideration of weight of patient. For that, you need to know this also. What is the last one? Chemical interaction with the solid. Yeah. Can, if the oxygen is having, listen, if the oxygen is having more interaction with water, it will dissolve more or less? More. more. If interaction is more, more dissolving. Less interaction, less dissolving. Okay. So, we use this. Solubility of gas in liquids is being used for this one. Okay. Oxygen and any drug which is being inhaled. Anesthetic or something, and you see it is given as a what is there? What we do with a cold drink? Ah, nebulizer. So giving a nebulizer. So what it will do is it will convert your water molecules into small drops. That is the only work of nebulizer. Still nebulize. The drops are in hand. Okay, the drops are in hand, which contains your antihistamine and steroid. Good card. That is the steroid. And antihistamines, as well as steel, are something. It will be there. It will be taken. Okay. So that's how it will be. Aspirin. Yes, aspirin. For asthmatic people, they use aspirin in hand. What is that? Nebulizer. So for design, that person comes to use this equation. This completes the solubutal. Aspirin contains solubutal. Drug is solubutal. Okay. This is the 
Completion of top. What is the problem? How we solve it? What are the factors? Okay, so this is your interest. Then move on to liquid in liquid. Move on to liquid in liquid. First we will say what is the power, then which means. I am making bacteria to eat some food. It comes from where is cutting over bacteria? From where I will take this topic to bed. Okay. I am making the bacteria to eat some food. It will eat, in turn, it will give a byproduct which will give me a kick. What is it? Byproduct which will give me a kick. Alcohol. Alcohol. Yeah. So, come. I took bacteria. I added food to the bacteria, let's say anything, it gave me alcohol. The bacteria is swimming in water. Alcohol is produced in water. This water and alcohol will form strong bond. This water and alcohol form strong bond. Okay. I want to separate them. What is the process of separating alcohol from water? Why? What we call that? Distillation. We call that distillation. They are not separatable. If you boil them, alcohol boiling temperature is around 50 or uh, something. I don't know exactly. Water is 100. If you mix them, both will boil at 100. And then, constant boiling mixtures. What we call them as? Start with A. Okay. A. No. Zero. Boiling. Mixture. Tropes. A zero tropic mixture. <coughs> you have heard this? A zero tropes? A zero tropes are those mixture where you can't separate them by normal distillation. You can't separate them by normal distillation. Further, you need to add third substance. As benzene, benzene will form bond with water and it will loosen this bond and you can fractional distillate the alcohol to be extra. So, why you are teaching this? Listen. Liquid in liquid. If there is mixture of liquid in liquid, I want to separate them. I want to separate them. For that, this is the problem. Problem is two liquids are mixed. I want to separate them. For that, I use a method called distillation. I can say fractional distillation. What I will do is, if I know their vapor pressures, if I know alcohol and water are mixed. Okay, what is the total vapor pressure of alcohol water mixture? If I eat, who will come first? Obviously, that's what we do. Okay, at what temperature alcohol will come? This will not come. But if you have A and B, they are azeotropic, they will not come. Azeotropic mixtures are those mixtures which boil at constant temperature. What will boil at constant temperature? What is normal procedure is if I add A and B liquid, if I heat, A may be volatile, more volatile compared to B. So when I come the temperature to 50, A will distill out and B will be there. So I can separate them. To separate this, you should study liquid in liquid mixtures. To explain this separation, to know how, what happens for all this. So first we will see the concept. The concept here is, if you know the vapor pressure of A, you tell me this, if you know this, you are about to create Dalton's and Rout's law. You are about to create Dalton's and Rout's law. Further, you need to tell me what is the, what is happening here. 
If the partial pressure of A is more, okay. If I give heat, who will come first? Me. Why? Why? Explain. It is high, so it is coming first. Why? They are liquids. Don't mind them. They are already meant. Liquids. Use other word, boiling point. They have no boiling point. She is almost correct, but missed it. That's all. Okay. It has no boiling point, hence its vapor is more. Hence its pressure is more. Listen, listen. If you don't know this concept, listen. I can't able to create turtles and rose lava. Okay. The two things are depending on this one. I have a mixture whose vapor pressure is like this. Okay, Pascals, or then some Pascals. Okay. Who will come first when I heat? Because his vapor pressure is more. Why his vapor pressure is more? Because that molecule is more readily converting from liquid to gas. gas. Means what? It doesn't have any interaction. That a liquid molecules have less interaction. They have slightly more than A. C have more than B. B has more for R. If your interaction is more, I can't separate it. If the interaction is not there, I can easily separate it. That's what it is. Vapor pressure is more. Means interaction is less. Remember this. On this concept only, I am going to create two equations. Vapor pressure more, less interaction. More vapor pressure, less interaction. Tell me other examples there. Uh, application. Last, last, go to last application. The difference in behavior of mixture influence the method of distillation. Method of distillation. Next. The areas include fractional distillation of intermediates and drugs purification of alcohol and other organic solvents. For example, complete separation of the components of the mixture by fractional distillation may not be achieved. If positive or negative derivation from the also, such solutions form so-called mixtures. Therefore, the principles of ideal and oh, this is the problem. There are solutions which can be distillated easily. Those are which obey Raoult's law. The solutions which obey Raoult's law can be distillated easily. G pack question, not all. Solutions which obey or make it not right. First reason why it is that is important. Yeah, otherwise, you will be end up with bad. Okay. Solutions which obey Raoult's law will be easily separated, distillated. Positive deviation and negative deviated Raoult's law solution are common. Okay, positive and negative. That positive and negative is so much problem for us. We will see why for Why it is. Further, you remember more vapor pressure, less interaction. You remember this. This whole chapter is depending on only these two words. More vapor pressure, less interaction. We'll try to see. See what scientists found is when you add A, B, C, D mixture and close it, measure the vapor pressure. When you should measure the vapor pressure after closing the lid. Okay, once in, after closing, wait until it attains equilibrium. That is also there. You need to measure the vapor pressure, close the lid. Wait until it attains equilibrium. Okay. After that, when you measure the pressure, you get total pressure. Whatever pressure you are getting here is total pressure. Pressure of all liquid molecules. Then people want to know what is the total pressure. Listen. One scientist came forward, he said that total pressure is equal to individual pressure of which gas? Molecules. Are so don't say that because this liquid and vapor also. A B C D now. Each one. What is that now? Dalton. That is Dalton. 
He said that total pressure is equal to individual partial pressure. Sum of sum Yeah, it is sum. See, I am adding up. Yes, it is called sum. Dalton's law is total pressure is equal to sum of partial pressure of individual particles. It's called created Dalton's law. Next, what do you mean by partial pressure? Another scientist came. What he is giving partial pressure? I need to define what is partial pressure. Because he is in the word partial pressure, I need to define. What he found is again same experiment. We have molecules. Okay, we have molecules here. Which was this? This molecules will exert some pressure. Now, let's say uh, you tell me like this. Okay, all of this. This row girls are there. I'll make boys to sit in between here and there. I'll put a plank on you. So you'll be pushing the plank. That will be your pressure. I want to know only boys' pressure. So what should I do? Minus. Don't minus. What is the pressure exerted by one boy multiplied by how many boys are? Right? What is the pressure exerted by not how many? What are the total number? What is the pressure exerted by one boy? Okay, compared to the number of boys and total number of uh, not girls, boys and girls. This is somewhat confusing because I want to put more fraction. That is the reason I am doing. Mole fraction means number of moles of particular substance divided by total number of moles. I said boys are sitting in between you, you are pushing. Everybody is pushing. I want to know only what is the pushing efficiency, efficiency of boys. For that what? <coughs> For that what I will do? I will take pressure, individual pressure, we said not. Individual pressure of Pure pressure of boy, one boy. Assume everybody is constant, everybody is having same pressure. All boys are constant. Okay. So individual pressure of a boy, I multiply with how many boys? Instead of multiplying with how many boys, how many molecules is expressed as moles? Instead of multiplying with how many molecules, it is been expressed as moles because one mole contains a number of molecules. Okay. But I can't find Total uh, only boys one. For that, what I will do is I will express it as mole fraction. So, what is mole fraction? Mole fraction is equal to number of moles of substance A divided by total number of moles. I will get fraction. I will get fraction. Okay, I will get a fraction. So, pure pressure multiplied by fraction gives you partial pressure. Pure pressure multiplied by fraction will give you partial pressure. This is called what? Rouse now. Something is very okay. Rouse law. This is called your Rouse law. So, what is ideal liquid according to Rouse? You got this two equations. Next, I am applying this equation. Okay. First equation says total pressure is equal to sum of individual pressures. Second equation says in, in sum of individual partial pressure. Second equation says partial pressure is equal to pure pressure multiplied by more fraction. Next, according to Rounds law, what is the spelling Rounds? Correct. According to Rounds law, mixtures are class mixtures are classified into ideal and real. 
mixtures are transferred into ideal and real. Okay. What is this means? Ideal means linear. We should know this concept of ideal and real mixtures. Ideal mixture means let's say I am taking mixture A and B. Two molecules are there. Okay, when I close the lid, I measure the pressure. Because there is separate need to define now. What is the definition for ideal mixtures? I took a mixture of A and B liquid, close the lid, measure the vapor pressure. I got vapor pressure 80. Then I measure the individual vapor pressure of A and B. I measure the individual vapor pressure of A and B. To say it ideal, if this is 30, this should be 50. Just add. If indeed the vapor pressure of the mixture now define it, what is it? Uh, ideal mixture? The vapor pressure of the combined gas mixture is must be equal to sum of the gas mixture. Sum of individual gas. Sum of individual gas. See, he created the definition. That is ideal gas. Okay. Sum of individual gas. gas. Not gas, sorry, vapors. Vapors. Okay. Individual vapors. Sum of individual vapors. That what is it? To get this, ah, come now. To get this, you should have more interaction or less interaction or no interaction. Between A and B, what happens if you have more interaction? What happens if you have less interaction? What happens if you have no interaction? To get this value, tell me this one first. You need more interaction, less interaction or no interaction? Very good. No interaction. If they are not interacting, then only combined should be additive. But if more interaction, what happens to the vapor pressure? Decrease or increase? Decrease. 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 More interaction, vapor pressure decreases, yes. negative deviation of round star. Because after adding them, they are decreasing the pressure. Hence, it is negative. Okay. Next. If, listen, listen, don't write. Listen. I will give them. Less interaction, what happens? Individual vapor pressure, sorry, mixture vapor pressure will be more. Hence it is positive deviation from Rouse. Hence it is positive deviation from Rouse. Now you tell me who is easy to distill? Negative deviating or positively deviating? Positive. Who is easy to distill? Who is easy to separate? Positive. 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 Because they don't have any interaction. Okay, I'll, I'll mention this. Positive deviation has less interaction, negative deviation has more interaction. Who is easy to distill? Because they have less interaction. If they are interacting, you can't able to distill them. If girlfriend boyfriend is very strong, I can't separate them. Simple thing. Less interaction. Who is your boyfriend? He is mine. That's something that is mine. See, this, this is the trigger point for you. Alcohol, cigarette, mm -hmm. boys, and commonly his girlfriend that is it ticket. When I say this, something is about to say. Then I change to this one. This girl gave me that. I am always living in love. Okay, what is the timing then? Remember all this timing. 39 minutes. Right now, 17, 39. Okay. Next, uh, yeah. Okay. Listen. Easily separatable. Jipat question, okay? Just you remember this concept, no, no need of study. The substance which can be easily separatable is positive deviated, less is negative Not ideal, than that is negative deviation. Separation, uh, what is that? 1, 2, 3, if I give the point for that separation. Okay. So, highly separatable is positive deviation because it is already in vapor. So it is easily separated. Then that is ideal. More difficult is negatively deviated mixtures. We call it as a mixture. Okay. Rouse's law. If it says that you are uh, what Rouse's law? Uh, how we classify ideal gap, ideal mixtures? The thing is, the partial pressure of a mixture is equal to sum of individual partial pressure of a components. That is your ideal gas 
for ideal mixtures. Any increase in after mixing, the pressure is increasing means positive deviation, increasing so positive, pressure is decreasing means negative deviation. Please study like this, positive and negative. So to know, to distill, we especially we have volatile ions. We have volatile ions. Volatile ions are also used as medications. Okay, not only perfume, we use it as medications. To separate those volatile ions, to separate these volatile ions, I should know their characteristics, liquid and liquid characteristics. Because generally we get volatile ions, we generally extract them in water. From there, how to separate them? For that, I should know the liquid and liquid. Okay, now you tell me one thing. Your B section are very clear. They said something here. What is the common thing between Henry Sla, Tartan Sla, and Tout Sla? Good, pressure. Partial pressure. Very good. Pressure. You know what they said? I will tell you. Henry Sla, Tartan Sla, and Tout Sla. You know what they said? They said La. I referred to the La. They are saying, sir, yes. No, at least you said. See, the problem is, I asked them at the very starting of the class. Hence, they are playing you. I asked you after the class. So, you said the correct answer. Okay. In a nutshell, I repeat, listen. Full everything within 5 minutes. Full class. We need to know solubility of gas in liquid because we have oxygen transporting in our body and also we have anesthesia. And we have drugs which need to be given and in the form of gas. Yes. To study them, you need to study what is the solubility property of this gas. To represent how much gas is soluble in water or given liquid, he is explained by Henry's law. Concentration of solubility of gas will increase if we increase the pressure. Remove the proposophic constant, keep some constant, that constant is solubility constant of a gas. Because it is not constant, hence you are as coefficient. Why it is not constant? Go to the factors. Factors affecting temperature changes, coefficient changes. Pressure changes, coefficient changes. Identity substance changes, coefficient changes. Anything. Factors affecting temperature. Increase temperature, decrease concentration. Increase pressure, increase concentration. Additive substance, decrease concentration. Will make the two come out. Especially if it is salt. What is the phenomena? Salting out effect. We call this phenomenon as salting out effect. What is the last one? Chemical reaction. Chemical reaction. Yeah. If the reaction is more, then more will be the solubility. If the gas is reacting with liquid more, more will be the solubility. Come to next. Liquid in liquid. We have many drugs to be separated from the two liquids. To get drug in a purified form, we need to separate them. To separate them, we need to study the property of liquid in liquid. For that, for separation, two scientists came forward and explained. If you want to separate, check out for their individual vapor pressure. So one scientist observed that total vapor pressure is equal to sum of individual vapor pressure. That is known as daughter's law. Then because he is using partial pressure, sum of individual partial pressure, another scientist came to picture and he explained that partial pressure is equal to pure pressure multiplied by more action. By using these two, we need to separate them. According to Rawls law, mixtures are classified into three, ideal and real. Result, mixtures are classified into three, I, I should see my hand. Ideal and real. Why I am showing ideal in between is real in the real positive deviated will have more vapor pressure than your ideal. Hence I am showing like this. This is real. Whatever is non-ideal, it is real solution. One is ideal solution. What is ideal solution? The vapor pressure of mixture is equal to sum of individual vapor pressure. We call it as ideal mixture. So, this is carbon tetrachloride and cyclohexane. Cyclohexane. Carbon tetrachloride and cyclohexane. Next, what is the page number, madam? 
That is the only possible to last in GPA. Okay, water. Remember it. Yeah, I repeat, listen. So, according to rules, we classify mixtures into ideal and real. There are three types. Ideal means individual vapor pressure should be sum of total vapor water. Real, more vapor pressure than sum of individual vapor pressure. Less vapor pressure is negative diminution. Positive deviation. We use this liquid and liquid mixture, uh, subject or topic, to separate liquids. Remember, we use gas and liquid to make gas to dissolve. We use liquid and liquid to separate. Remember, two things are okay. This one is, and the last topic is partially miscible. If liquids are fully miscible, no problem. Fully invisible, no problem. Problem comes when they are partially invisible. Phenol water system. Okay. They are partially invisible, they are very notorious. So, why to study them? What are the uses? We try to see in next class.